Hello, we are coming here tonight as citizens of this community. My name is Aliyah Attar, and I'm president of the Lake Forest High School Human Rights Club. Today, I'm here with Sophia Zar, our vice president at the Lake Forest Human Rights Club. Today, we're representing change makers and strong leaders. We're both involved students, involved with our school's choir, Special Olympics, and um, members of our art club executive board. Our Human Rights Club is made up of seniors through freshmen. We are here to talk about what happened with our homecoming windows in both 2021 and 2022 and the impact that it has had on our community. In 2021, we painted the windows of a local business, including a pride flag. And to our understanding, it was due to customer complaints for it to be removed the next day. In 2022, again, our window mural was censored due to the symbols of yet another pride flag and the slogan BLM. As citizens of this community, we believe that it is our duty to share what has happened so our community is aware of the situation. With that being said, I want to introduce our club's mission statement. To promote inclusion and equity through awareness, advocacy, and outreach in our community and beyond. We feel that this aligns with the City of Lake Forest's mission statement, which states to be an appealing community and promote a community of spirit of trust, respect, and citizen involvement. In order for our community to fully achieve this mission, we must be aware of the events that have unfolded in the past week. As members of the Lake Forest community, we are participating in civic engagement and standing up for what we believe is to be right. Participating in window painting for the second time after last year's erasure, we were shocked to see this happen to our community once again, two years in a row. After our 2022 windows were censored, we as a club decided to take down the entire window painting, as it did not represent our club or what we stood for. It was a censored message. We were shocked and disheartened to see our painting had been erased a second time and felt defeated by the culture of censorship a culture that does not welcome all. Our core values do not feel represented after these events have unfolded, and neither do the minority groups depicted in the mural, such as the LGBTQ plus community and people of color. Within our community and school, there are families of color, and there are people who are part of the LGBTQ plus community, and they are hurt by this narrative. They are hurt by the mural erasure. We hope to change the narrative around diversity and inclusion in our community. The symbols that our club painted on both windows represented love and inclusion, and we want them not only to be tolerated, but welcomed in our community. Censorship is a huge issue in our world right now. It is absolutely not in the best interest of our home, as it does not seem to foster or promote a, a community of spirit of trust, respect, and citizen involvement, as stated in the City of Lake Forest mission statement. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, next, I have Sophia Zar. Hello, I am Sophia Zar, Vice President of the Human Rights Club. I'm also a member of Choir, Special Olympics, Big to Little's Mentoring Program, and Art Club, and I have two younger siblings that will eventually be headed to Lake Forest High School. Thank you all for your service in our community, and thank you for having us here today. This Saturday, in response to the events of 2021 and 2022, our Human Rights Club decided to host a community day, inviting all community members into our school. We wanted to use the support and momentum our club was gaining online, um, centered around the human rights issues, in a positive way. We um, recommended nonprofit organizations to support, books to read, and committed actions to take to the community that showed up to our community day. It was an afternoon of discussion and processing, but also one of action. The turnout was inspiring. Children and adults alike engaged in heartfelt discussions, created posters that championed messages of inclusion, and made bracelets that represented the warmth and positive energy that our club promotes. Community Day was a success, and we hope to make it an annual event. It opened both dialogue as well as compassion, representing our club's very best side, rather than the intolerance held by a minority in this community. We love this community. We think there's such an opportunity here to become a more unified, further accepting, and kinder place for marginalized groups in Lake Forest. There's also a real risk to continuing to allow antiquated messages of intolerance to be linked with Lake Forest. As our neighboring cities in Lake County grow more accepting, Lake Forest lags behind. 
Are we really a community so resistant to the idea of acceptance, or is this vocal minority writing our community's false narrative? How can we make this a safer and more inclusive space for groups who feel unseen in Lake Forest? We are here today to ask you all, how can we use this moment to reflect, learn, and move forward so that this does not happen again? We look forward to hearing and partnering with you to create the best possible solutions to ensure we are living up to the Lake Forest mission and making this a town that we are all proud to represent. Thank you so much for your time tonight.